You could say he changed the face of motorcycle clubs in the Bay Area. Yeah, the late founder of the Bay Area's first all-black motorcycle club was celebrated today in Oakland, and KPX 5's Devin Feely was there. Hundreds of people turned down for Mr. Levinson's memorial service today. His immediate family was here, as well as dozens upon dozens and dozens of people from the family he created through six decades of leadership of the East Bay Dragons. Today is the saddest day in Dragon history. Toby Jean Levingston was a trailblazer, changing the complexion and arguably the character of motorcycle clubs in the Bay Area. I've been a member of the East Bay Dragons for 26 years, and uh, he was like a father figure, not only to me, but to many people out here in the streets of Oakland. Levingston found the East Bay Dragons in 1959, at a time when African American motorcycle clubs were virtually non existent. He led the organization for 60 plus years, the founder and only president it's ever had. Our first memories were my sister on the front of a bike and me on the back of the bike with my arms wrapped around my dad. The group was united by more than just its enthusiasm for motorcycles and the open road, generously giving back to the community and helping young men steer clear of trouble. You can look around and see all of the motorcycle riders that have come today to celebrate and honor and respect a man that they considered a great leader because that's exactly what he was. The Dragons members say was like a family, close-knit and supportive, but as dedicated as he was to his motorcycle family, Levingston was equally beloved by the children and grandchildren he leaves behind. My father loved God, family, and country, right? Those three things. Um, and he loved his club, right? He loved his community, um, but he was a family man. Mr. Levingston celebrated his 86th birthday at the end of June, just one week before his death. In Oakland, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.